Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for something totally different today. This is totally different. Um, I'm gonna try an idea I have of occasionally doing a mini vlog. So I just got in last night from the week long tour. I think that was the last vlog you saw. I just filmed a clothing haul. I have so much, I have so many packages to go through. I'm just kind of like a mess, but I wanted to film two videos today because I'm going out of town again. And the second video I wanted to film is like a sit down video talking about starting over. And I want to do a series about it of like starting over emotionally, starting over logistically, like moving, making new friends, finding whatever that whole thing. And prepping for those videos takes a lot of mental work. They're easier to film, whereas like a vlog takes a lot more time, but that takes a lot more mental energy. And I frankly don't feel like I would do it justice yet. I'm like a little mentally tired. So I was like, I'm gonna put that off until I can do a good job at that. Last night, I was on YouTube and one of my favorite YouTubers had posted an eight minute vlog. Another one of my favorite YouTubers had posted a 30 minute vlog. And I was like, I don't really wanna sit and watch a whole 30 minute vlog right now. So I'm gonna watch the eight minute one. And then I realized like there's some goodness to short vlogs. Normally my vlogs come out Wednesday and Saturday. And if you're watching this live, you know that today's a Monday. This would normally be a sit down video, but I have a couple fun things. Like these packages are fun. I have my last pottery class tonight. So I was like, why can't I do a mini vlog? just a literal half day of vlogging instead of two days of vlogging. And if this goes well, I'd like to do these from time to time, switch it up, give you a different type of content. It's fun for me to create in new ways. It makes it feel like something I want to experiment with and try instead of like, oh, another week, gotta film another vlog, you know, less of an obligation, more of like, let's try this, let's see how this feels. So, okay, I'm so excited. Um, some of these things I've ordered myself, some is gifting and one's a birthday present, which is so fun. I'm gonna start with this because I've been waiting for this. So I've been eyeing people's styles that I like and I've been recognizing when I travel, I really would like a shoe that I could like go out and walk for miles, wear on the airplane, but also like dress up and look cute. And I've been noticing these shoes a lot lately. Veja, I think that's how you say it. Pretty cute. I really like them on other people, but for some reason, whenever I put on just like a regular sneaker, I don't feel like me. I really love wearing like a little heel of some sort, like a little heeled sandal, but that's just not practical all the time, especially for flights and walking and stuff. So I'm gonna have to learn to like sneakers, but I do like these is the other thing I've ordered for myself. <laughs> Guys, you're gonna think this is ridiculous. Let me just tell you the backstory, okay? One of my friends sent me a picture and she was like, hey, we belong to a wine club and look at the wine that we're drinking tonight. And she sent me a picture of this wine. You might be saying, Mikkel, you don't drink, correct? Look at the label. Wait, it's very small, but here's the name, Mikkel Mikkel. Look at the cork. It's my name. I'm sure it's French. I'm sure it's Michel Michel, but um, this is a orange wine. So I got one to taste and hate because I just know I'm going to hate it. And then one to just keep forever, like on a shelf or something, because it, it's my name. This is a birthday gift and I kind of peeked, but I didn't go through it because I want to go through it with y'all. But this is from Jordy's sister, Mallory. It's a craft chocolate tasting kit from her local like small batch chocolatier. She's a foodie like me. So we really bond over like foodie things. Look at how cool. Okay. Organic roasted cacao nibs, cacao husk tea. These are full, full cacao beans. Like just like, it's so good. Chocolate tasting notes, 70, 72, 3, 4, 5, 85% with different origins. And look at that beautiful packaging. Mallory, ah, oh, this is my dream. This is gifting and I'm so excited about this. Okay, here's a little behind the scenes of like just doing what I do as a job. I love Everlane and have had the privilege of working with them quite a few times, but it's through an agency. So an agency is like a middleman. So the brand will say, hey agency, here's how much money we have. Find influencers, try to get 20 videos with this budget try to get this many conversions, whatever. And the agency has the um, connections with the influencer and sets all that up. But I posted a TikTok about the pants I bought on my birthday and it got over 2 million views. So Everlyn reached out and they're like, hey, are you interested in trying some of our stuff? And I was like, excuse me, you don't know, I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> I almost bought this on my birthday. Look at this little ribbed cardigan. I feel like this is such a good transition wetter, wetter, 
transition weather sweater. Cute. <laughs> a linen-y kind of blue long sleeve button down situation. These are the barrel utility pant, which is different from the barrel fatigue pant that I bought on my birthday. I kinda wanna try these on. Maybe we could try a couple of these things on. I feel like it's my birthday. This is why it's fun to leave town for a long time. <laughs> Cause you get back and there's so much to open. I am gonna heat up some bone broth as a snack. I still have some farmer's market bone broth and I have finally perfected the exact amount of heating time is six minutes in the microwave. Just sip on this and then I need to clean so bad. I have laundry, I have packages, I need to put down the filming stuff. So how about we do a little tidy montage situation. What else do I need to do before pottery? We need to take a package. We take out Max for a walk. I think we're doing good. All right, let's do this. pottery soon definitely not wearing this and it's 95 degrees so we're gonna try on the Everlane stuff in a second but I want to share this with you I have been looking and looking and looking and looking for a toner that is hydrating not one that's like like astringents and like harsh things and I found this one and it's made from goat milk and it has probiotics and you shake it and I use it after my skincare but I also use it to refresh my makeup because it's just so like light and hydrating if my makeup starts getting cakey I do this and it feels so good. Loving this. They have a couple other things too that I like, but that's my favorite. Um, let's try on the pants. Oh, these are cute. Let me move you down. Okay. I don't think they're too short. They actually go right to my ankle. I got these. I know that when they're not curved love or they're curvy cheeky, um, you gotta like waist size down. So these are a double zero tall and I feel like they fit. They're really comfy. I realized it's probably okay for me to wear these pants to pottery because I don't think I'm throwing anything new today. I think I'm gonna be trimming and glazing everything today. And I'm really excited to see, so I, I think my berry bowls have come out of the kiln and I'm excited to glaze them. And okay, I got a seven and I'm normally a seven and a half and they still feel a little big, but they're cute. What do we think? I think they're really cute. I think that they're a good solution for what I need for not taking a zillion shoes while traveling. I think that they're multifunctional, hopefully. A little it's 95 degrees outfit of the day. Just gonna wear my tank. <laughs> not gonna wear a real shirt today because I'll be wearing a um, apron at Pottery anyways. So feeling good, okay. I'm in the kiln room. It's so hot in here. Um, but I see some berry bowls that have been kiln. Oh, oh. Okay, wait just a sec, they're pretty stuck together. Oh my gosh, why are they so stuck? <gasps> oh, that made me so nervous. Look at these. I see some of my thumbprint mugs. They shrunk down quite a bit, but you could do a little latte in that. Oh my gosh, this shrugs so much. It's so funny to me how much things shrink. I just, I'm not used to it. So here's all of the things that I made that were killed. Some of them, like some week one things. No, I actually like that one. Um, like this was a week one and you could tell. And I think I'm just not gonna glaze that, but some are interesting and some, what would I even ever use that for? I don't know. No. <laughs> Yeah. 
summer night, yet a breeze through the trees, flickering fireflies, you remind me of birds that sing. I left pottery a little bit early because I just wrapped everything up and it's silly to throw more before I know when I can go into the studio next. So I have everything trimmed and the things that have already been fired once, I have them glaze. And I'm stopping at my favorite, Juice Peddler again to pick up dinner for tonight. My stomach isn't thrilled with what I ate on tour, on the tour vlog. So I'm trying to get like very soft things, but with lots of like vegetables and nutrients so I picked up a green soup for dinner tonight this is basically just like pureed vegetables there's so many vegetables in it and it's so good and then I got this smoothie that has so many things in it already but I added hemp protein and spinach I wish I could read you all the things but I think if I read you all the vegetables in the soup and all of the other things in the smoothie you'd be like this is boring I think I'm the only person that cares about stuff like that maybe not if you're Austin based this smoothie is called the Brain Inu, Eno, E-N-O. But like I said, added protein and spinach. That's really good. It's very cinnamony. We got 5 p.m. snack and probably 7 p.m. dinner. We got all the things. And I am probably gonna end the vlog here, go home, do a little bit of computer work, and then I have a FaceTime date tonight. But I would love to know your thoughts about these little mini vlogs. I feel like we did a lot literally and only a half day of vlogging and i'm so used to vlogging for two days that i feel like whenever i'm like oh i only have a half day to film i end up being so much chattier i feel good about doing this today and i really like experimenting and switching things up so would love to know your thoughts would you like more of these is this fun just slightly different format but i love y'all thanks for spending half a day with me i'm starting a whole new vlog tomorrow a normal one so i will see you guys in another video very soon Thank you.